the JE advanced exam is one of the toughest exams in the world and this is one of its hardest math questions so let's try to solve it in 5 minutes it's asking us for something about p of x and p of x depends on g of theta which depends on f of theta as you can see so let's solve this first so what is the determinant of this look at the first cofactor it's 1 so it's like 1 minus the multiplication of this so that becomes 1 plus sine squared theta then we have uh, we do the same thing with sine of theta and when we do that we'll see it's negative sine of theta plus sine of theta which is zero so that doesn't matter to us um, it becomes zero with one we get sine squared theta plus one again so we have two times this and there's a one half in front so it's one half times this which gives us one plus sine squared theta so that was pretty quick now let's do the same thing here but we see a trick sine of pi is just zero this is also zero and this is also zero which simplifies things quite a bit now continue the determinants it's negative and that gives us negative cosine of theta plus pi over 4 and now what are we multiplying that by we're multiplying it by this uh, minus this but this is zero so it's minus of this times this so the minuses make it a plus Cot, it's the same angle. Cot is cosine of something of a sine of something. So we can write it as this. And now we multiply by the natural log of 4 over pi. Okay, so we multiply by that. Now what do we add? We do the same thing with tan, right? So now we can ignore this. And now we just focus on this. So this part is again going to be 0. So it's just this. Plus tan of theta minus pi over 4 times this. So times this product. So sine of theta minus pi over 4 times tan of theta minus pi over 4 is sine squared of theta minus pi over 4 over cosine of the same and then that is multiplied by natural log of pi over 4 now pause the video and see if you can find this yourself but this we call this x and this x then this becomes x minus pi over 2 and then same thing with that so this since sine of x is equal to cosine of uh, x minus pi over 2 or 90 minus pi over 2 actually this will we can make this cosine squared and this sine squared which will make this the exact same okay so we can now factor that out so we'll factor this out and multiply by natural log of 4 over pi so pause the video and try to rewatch that part or do it on your own but i'm going to try to hurry now so this is what we have by logarithm properties this is a natural log of 1 which is equal to 0 which makes this entire thing equal to 0 so this is what f of theta is so let's see g of theta g of theta is equal to the square root of this minus 1 so it's the square root of sine square theta which is just sine of theta plus what is the square root what is f of pi, uh, pi over 2 minus theta that's just 1 plus cosine square of theta from the same thing that we did uh, to make this jump so that's cosine squared of theta the square root of that so cosine of theta now let's see what what is p of x it's a quadratic so p of x is equal to a and the roots are the minimum and maximum so a times x minus 1 because that's when one of them is 0 and 1 is 1 the maximum is when both are root 2 over 2 so that gives us x minus root 2 and now we're given this so if we put in 2 this becomes 2 this becomes 1 and then this becomes 2 minus root so a must be 1 as well so p of x is equal to just this so that's pretty simple now what are we asked to find now we need to check all of these so this is uh, more than 1 so this would be positive and this would be negative so it would be less than 0 so that's correct this is again more than 1 so this would be positive but this is less than root 2 over 2, right? This would have to be root 2 to make it root uh, to make it root 2 because it would be 4 root 2 over 4. It's less, so this is going to be negative. So this is wrong. C, 5 root 2 minus 1. So that's again over 4, sorry, more than 1 or and more than root 2. So this is positive and this is positive. So C is also true. And this one is just less than 1. So this is... Uh, negative okay so this is a new one negative and this one is also of course negative so this is actually positive okay so it isn't less than zero so this is also wrong which means the final answer is a comma c